I tell you one thing, <laughs> this is a great party. <laughs> Who's throwing the picnic? <laughs> Such a dark. Well, when we first talked about it, she said, oh, I can kind of thinking 9 o'clock might have been a little early this morning. <laughs> no problem. After two nights of after 1 o'clock. Uh, so I'm Chad Heiser. My wife is still working inside the trailer. So I'm not sure if it's a combination of people wanting to get up because of COVID. That's the host. It's the host. Like <laughs> blame the YouTube channels that keep promoting it. We missed you. <laughs> oh, she's a pretty girl. Welcome to the 2021 HDT West Coast Rally. Yeah, we're here finally. Yay! We made it. We did. This is our, what do we figure? This is our fourth or fifth rally? Fourth rally? Yeah, I, I think it's our fourth. We missed the one year, so yeah. that would have been five, but. Yeah. So those of you that don't know what the HDT West Coast Rally is, this is a chance for all of the heavy duty truck owners to get together and socialize and share ideas and share experiences and just have a really 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 good time with good friends absolutely we've got so many friends in the hdt community and i'll tell you we've talked to chad already and he said there are 35 heavy duty trucks here this year three medium duty trucks and three little girly trucks <laughs> We're going to tick people off. We've got a lot of folks here that are interested in the HDT community. They come here to learn uh, this rally. We haven't been to the National. We haven't been to the East Coast. This is our fourth time here at the West Coast Rally. And we just have a blast every time we come in. Everybody is just so gracious oh and just so much fun. And people come here, they fly here and stay in a hotel. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we had a lot of people come in and fly down. We, uh, Our good friends, uh, Brent and Patty, drove down, drove down. from Coeur d'Alene, yeah. uh, spent a few days here in a hotel and then drove back, you know, just because they want to know more about the... And, and you know, I wish we had a chance to have interviewed them yes. because... They're this close. Yeah. But that, this is their first rally. Yeah. This is their really their, besides us, this is their first experience with the HDT community. And they just said they had such a great time while they were here. Well, all they had to do was put Patty in the driver's seat. She, <laughs> she was sold, so. All right, so we are going to share some things with you guys. We're going to share. Uh, we, have, we have a lot of seminars going on. Chad does a, an outstanding job putting this thing together. He's got seminars that go on. You can, you can start at 9 a.m. And, and they go until dinner time. Yeah. Uh, we've got a... Uh, an off-site dinner at the Elks Lodge this year. On Thursday. Yep, yep. and then uh, we've got a, um, 
uh, uh, potluck coming up on one of the on nights. Friday, yep. Yeah. And we've got a seminar on truck build builds. We've got a uh, seminar that Jones and the Travel and us are doing. And yes, Jones and the Travel is here. We've seen them. We've yes. spotted them in the wild. They are they still are alive. alive. <laughs> <laughs> but we're going to do, Aaron and I are going to do a seminar on uh, YouTube and how, you know, uh, just normal folks can use YouTube to their, uh, their benefit. And our friend Lindsay's going to have um, a recipe in an Instant Pot. Yep. So there's such a variety of things that are happening here. So we're really excited to uh, to show you guys around and to uh, we're going to try to get a couple of interviews with different people. So stick around. So this is a 2014 T680 Kenworth. How many miles? The the truck is actually got a million seventy thousand miles on it. Okay. Okay, been completely all redone. And we picked up the truck. And then we had the bed custom made by a company in Fort Morgan, Colorado called Temco. And they did a wonderful job. Did how everything did, that we did. How long it took, did it take him to build it? It took, actually, he told us to begin with that it would take him a week to make it. Oh, wow. And it actually took, we gave him, we had to go to a rally in Seaverville. And when we came back, we went ahead and got the bed and it was done. It was done in three weeks, but he says allow a month to do the beds. Oh, that's reasonable. He says because, uh, I mean, a lot of it, the weight was the hitch, getting the hitch. Okay. You know, and it's the ET Senior Hitch. Well, that's beautiful. You did a nice job. Yeah. Hey, we're here with our friends at the West Coast Rally in 2021, and we're going to let them introduce themselves, and they're kind of special friends because, well, not that kind of special, but they're kind of <laughs> special friends because this is the couple that chased us down in South Dakota on the interstate. We were not going to let you get away. <laughs> yeah. So why don't you tell everybody who you are? I'm Scott. This is Dawn. Yes. Oh, and and like where are you from? Middle of, middle of Wisconsin. Middle of Wisconsin. Mm -hmm. Yep. And so we were just discussing, wondering whether or not you guys had come the furthest of anybody at the West Coast Rally. Well, we don't know. But we're but pretty sure. But you know sure. what? If we say on here how far we went, you're going to get comments. How far did you go? 1,725 miles. To the West Coast. The West Coast Rally. To here. Yep. Wow. Okay. We did. That's pretty cool. Yeah. We're glad you're here. And you know in the comments, they'll tell us if it's different. <laughs> <laughs> they will. Trust me. So we were not expecting these two to be here. Uh, we got a message. You got a message through Facebook? Yes. From Dawn yeah. saying that they were going to be here? Yes. We, we were somewhere in Montana. <laughs> we were pleasantly <laughs> surprised. <laughs> and so um, I guess the biggest question is, well, so let's give a little background. You guys still work. You're not full-timers. Right. You still have a sticks and bricks. You yep. still have a business at home. Yep. Uh, you work 
Six or seven days a week? Seven. Okay, seven Unless days Unless I'm week. doing this. But he All likes right. off as much as he can get off. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And your rig is? It, it's nothing special. It's just a 39 and a half foot. Just a 39 just, and a half yeah. foot. So we, get, so we can get our bike in the back. Okay, yeah. so you got a motorcycle. What kind of motorcycle? Goldwing. Okay. And, and a dune buggy on the way. It parked right over there. All right. We'll oh, go, we'll boy. Go. <laughs> so you tow your toy hauler with what? A uh, little medium duty. A little medium duty. It's well, not a, it's little that's, compared that's to the big, the heavy duty, duty ones. Duty. We're just yeah. we're just a, a medium duty. A medium one. duty Freightliner. Okay. What year? Nine, uh, 2003. Okay. Yep. And what engine do you know offhand? Yep. 3126 Cat. Okay. Pre-emission Allison transmission. It does a great job. Yeah. Good. It does. I mean, it's we don't around. have a big dog trailer, but and so our truck just plays around and. Okay. Does a great job. That's awesome. So you came all the way from Wisconsin mm -hmm. to the West Coast Heavy Duty Truck Rally mm -hmm. with a medium duty truck. Yeah, that's right. They let us in. And you knew nobody here. <laughs> Except well, just you two. Just you and you us. <laughs> yeah. From a wayside in North Dakota. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so what made you guys decide you wanted to come to the HDT Rally? Well, Scott's been into trucks for many years. Yeah, my whole life. His whole life. So what do you do for your job? I'm a milk hauler in Wisconsin. He's a milkman. Yes. Yep. And I'm just a milkman's wife. <laughs> <laughs> the milk <maiden. laughs> Yep. Oh, that's awesome. I wanted to see all the, uh, all of you guys. Okay. Well, it's just yeah. fun. Everybody has, you know, different rig and different truck and different style, how they go and do stuff, and it's awesome. And everybody so, is so nice. Oh, yeah. my gosh. Yeah. Everybody has been so nice to us. So did you come as an education? Did you come out of curiosity? Did you come uh, just because you wanted a vacation and this happened to be a good place to go? What there was... you are. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And we we've came never, for the fun. Yeah, okay. We've never been to Idaho. Okay. So we sorry, but we didn't get to take in the seminars, and maybe next time we can, because right. we had to ride motorcycle around. Yeah. Right, yeah. right. We yeah. had to see Idaho. But That's right. I try not to miss happy hour. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So what have you found with the HDT community while you've been here? Oh, Jesus, they're all friendly. Yeah. So friendly. They really are. Yeah. yeah. So willing to help, so willing to just sit down and chat. Okay. Love it. Okay. Just love it. Yeah, they are. Been very fun. So if you had the time again, would you do it again? Yes. Yeah. Are you coming back? Well, well we hope, hope so. You never know with so our too. business and stuff, yeah. but it takes okay. a lot of planning. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 So you've had a but good time. But now we know how, how it works. You know, right. this is our first time. We didn't know what to right. expect. Right. So it's awesome. Oh, so yeah. if you had any suggestions for anybody that's never been here and wanted to come to an HDT rally, would you would you recommend it? Definitely. Yes, yeah. But the day Chad says that you it's can open. call, you need, book. you need to call. I mean, I called, what, a week, week and a half later? Because yeah. I was still trying to get everything set with the schedule, and this was the only site left. And we have to leave a couple days early because right. somebody else had, has this book. Yeah, you and know? there's quite a few people yeah. that didn't make it. Right. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I well, got to go to the other campground. There's quite a few of them over there. Are is there? It, is it yeah. a nice campground over it there? It is. It's yeah. just like this. Oh, okay. Really? Yeah. Oh, okay. But they, nice you know, they would have loved to be here, of course. Sure. But they still commute over, so. Yeah. Okay. Well, we want to tell you guys how much we appreciate you being here. Aww, and how we're much... so happy to see you. Yes. It yes. Was, it's just fun to just to see you in person. You're just yeah. like you are on your YouTube videos. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Here, I'll, I'll pay you later. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So that's Don and Scott from Central Wisconsin, and they drove 1,725 miles for the rally, and they would do it again. Yes, yeah. definitely. Yep. And we okay. hope they do. Yeah. Yep. yeah. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Thank you. You're welcome. You. cool. <laughs> Introduce yourself. I'm Marty Main. My wife Sue and I uh, hail from uh, Northern California, close to Sacramento. 
Okay. And we just started on this uh, whole idea uh, just a little over a year ago after we sold our sticks and bricks. And you were here last year? We were here last year. We had purchased the truck and the trailer but had done nothing to them. So we just came up in our two-door Jeep and stayed in a motel and enjoyed ourselves and became sponges drinking from the fire hose. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you've got a really unique rig, Marty. And we absolutely love it. I mean, this is this is amazing what you've done. Did you come up with this idea on your own? Uh, not entirely. We were had, the original plan was we well we would, didn't want a double tow. We didn't want to get uh, a toy hauler, and we wanted to take a jeep. We weren't interested in a smart car, so we thought, well, all right, we'll get this truck. We'll stretch stretch it and put a a, a deck on the back, and uh, things progressed along, and we couldn't find a deck we thought was inexpensive enough, so. When we got home, the folks that had stretched it, he goes, oh, I have a box for you. And I said, well, how much is that going to be compared to a box, to a uh, bed? And as it turned out, it was less expensive. So at that point, we said, well, let's do it. The truck was a standard semi. Okay. We had the frame long, extended. Uh, excuse me, but no. long wheelbase, I assume. No, no, it was standard wheelbase. We had that move too. Oh, okay. Yeah, it okay. was. So we had the the tandems rolled back where the front tandem now is where the rear tandem was. We okay. rolled it back about 50 inches. Okay. And extended the frame out, and the guys put this on it, and that's when we went to. We didn't have this or the box. We went to. Uh, the uh, national rally last October, just like that. So we had this giant gap, and everyone, what is that gap? I said, imagine a Jeep on it. Okay. And so when we got back uh, Christmas time, we went back to uh, the same shop that had stretched the frame and said, hey, do you have time now? Let's okay. talk about it some more. And he said, well, wait a minute, let me take you across the street and show you what I have in this other yard, which I didn't even know he owned. And he showed me two boxes, uh, and we picked the one with a, uh, uh, a stairwell in the front. Okay. And they repair these things all day long for UPS and for Enterprise Rent-A-Car, oh. or Rent-A-Truck. Okay. And so they took the front, it was a 19-inch box, and I only wanted, I wanted to treat, keep the overall length down, so I knew I needed 16 feet for a four-door Jeep. Okay. Just enough. Okay. And so he cut this box down to 16 feet. Oh wow! Cut the front off and okay. moved the stairwell back. They do this, like I say, all day long. Okay. So they did that. Then they put it on there, and then they built this beaver tail for me, just enough where when this is down, when it's up, you can't drive over it because the cross member will, of the transfer case will hit that. But it's down, and we changed the valve so it always is down except whenever I choose to air it, which obviously you do. When we tow, okay, and he built this, and then we've got six-foot aluminum ramps we clip on there and drive the Jeep up. Okay, so the big question is going to be: when you pull in, disconnect, and pull the truck forward, from that, from the time you get out of the truck, open the door, and unload the, the Jeep, about how long does it take you? It depends how big of a hurry I am, but I can get it done in 10 or 15 minutes. No okay. big deal. Okay. Yeah, it's no big deal. And then when you load it, probably twice that because you got to hook up and set well, the hooks. Well, yeah, it's not very much more time, okay. honestly. Okay. The hardest part is this is a 96-inch box. Okay. And so I have to pull the Jeep as close as I dare to the wall, okay. uh, leaving the mirror out, so that's my gauge. Okay. And then I have just enough room sliding the seat back. Where I can suck it in and then try and get out through the door. How long is your fifth wheel? About. It's 32 feet, and okay. this this is 40 feet back to here. Okay. And the rig travels is at 70. Oh. Okay. Yeah. So not bad at all. No, no. Well, that was my whole point. Is I worked real hard to keep the the length as as short as possible. Okay. For that reason, and. Uh, and then the the truck itself is what. It's a Volvo, a, two, a 2015 Volvo VNL uh, 730 with a D13 and the I shift. Okay. Uh, that runs fine. It's uh, we bought it at 620,000 miles. We're only at 630 now. Okay. Thanks. Buddy. We're done. You bet. That one. Appreciate it. We had 42 sites. Well, 41 sites here plus a park model um, here at the uh, park three or four locals who just came in for a few days here and there. Um, and then we had four people at another RV park who couldn't get into this park. Um, so all told, or I think, I believe the final count of people was 103 people 
not everybody was here all at once, but a good chunk of those people were here for the entire week. It was by far our biggest rally. Last year was the biggest at 72, I think it was, or 70 something, low 70s. So we had 30 more people this year than we did last year. And we filled the park. Everybody knows that. Uh, there are. We shall see you next year. I talked a little bit about it at the last seminar before that started. Um, I've always known this park will limit the size of this rally if we continue to be here. Uh, in some ways, I'm not too upset about that. In other ways, you know, it would be nice to have, give more people the opportunity to come. But um, this year was kind of an anomaly year too with people's travel and COVID. And, and a lot of people were, I think, uh, antsy to get out and do things. And when I made the announcement for the rally, um, I found that out because it filled very quickly. If it happens again next year, then maybe I have some decisions to make about whether we continue here or not. It's hard to beat this park, though. This is one of the nicest parks we come to. The sites are huge. They, you know, uh, there's a, a lot of stuff to do in this area. You know, we're not. It's not the West Coast, but it's at least Western um, compared to the other rallies. You know, you got to go to Tennessee or Kansas to get to a truck rally. So there's a lot of people out this way and a lot of people who actually will travel out this way to come to the rally. So it's a good somewhat central location, but still Western. I, I can't imagine finding a better park than this. I just wish they had more sites available for us. Uh, so we'll see what happens. Next year will be a test case of how things go as far as uh, reservations and uh, everything will run through the website next year. Um, I'll still make all the announcements on the forums and everything. No. Uh, <laughs> well, if all these YouTubers would quit advertising the rally and making it so popular, then... Uh, <laughs>
We didn't go to the shooting range, uh, but everybody said they had a great time at the range. Uh, he always sets up something for the, you know, for the other side. He, he sets up a painting class. A local mm -hmm. artist comes in and yep. puts on a painting class, mm -hmm. and so everybody got, you know, that was interested went ahead and, and learned how to paint. Uh, that was a lot of fun. And of course, uh, you can't go without shenanigans at these kind of events. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> and Bubba is right in the middle of the shenanigans. He he's always good for a huge laugh. He's just he's the neatest guy. Yeah. I wrote I wrote in it when I was um. Okay, so Bubba's Bubba's gonna show us how this is done. <laughs> you can't can't quite close the top, can you? Not unless I go like this. <laughs> Oh my gosh! Look at that! Bubba's in the smart! <laughs> Tell me you can't! <laughs> we love him. So that was a lot of fun. Uh, and then, of course, Chad contracted with a local detail shop while we were there. And man, those guys were, they worked, I think they worked. Oh my gosh. All seven days. Yes, in this heat. In and the they heat. They were clothed to, I mean. <laughs> They washed, they waxed, they detailed, they they cleaned wheels, they yeah. cleaned uh, bull bars, they just, they were busy. Oh my gosh, constantly. And everybody constantly. got their, uh, well not everybody, but a lot of people got their rigs cleaned. We yeah. didn't. We didn't, no. Uh, but, but a lot of people took advantage of that and, and got their rigs cleaned, so. All I know is I'm really looking forward to next year yeah. already. Yeah. It was sad seeing everybody leave. Yeah. Yeah, we, uh, we really enjoyed ourselves again, you know. We don't go to the rally. I mean, we do go to the rally for an education. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. We, uh, we learn something at every rally we go to. But, you know, this rally was, was special. As you heard Chad say, it was the largest that he's had. A uh, hundred and some odd people were there. And just an amazing group of folks. Yes. And we're going to miss them. But we're going to be able to run across, you know, cross paths while we're on the road. So absolutely. absolutely. It's a lot of fun. Yep. Let us know where you're going to be. Yeah. You might be there. So we're looking forward to next year's rally and, you know, keep in touch on that, that website that Chad's got uh, for the West Coast Rally and uh, we're looking forward to it. So we had a great time. We did. For those of you that were there, uh, thanks for all your, your uh, fun and, and friendship and, and just a, an overall good time. And yes. we're looking forward to getting together with you on the road. For those of you that missed it, you know, uh, it happens the third week of June every year. So keep an eye out. And, and when Chad puts it out. <laughs> get on it. <laughs> yeah, get on it as we saw this year. Yeah. All right. So we're going to wrap it up from Caldwell, Idaho. Oh, we're going to go tear up some dirt next week. So from Caldwell, Idaho. It all starts with an idea. Thanks for coming along, guys. We'll talk to you next week. Bye. Bye-bye.